So till now, I made a lot of projects under home automation, but one thing which I never made and which is also an important device under home automation category. Well, you already guessed it name because it was mentioned in the thumbnail itself and it is Universal IR Blaster. Now I haven't made that device till now because I didn't find the perfect way to make that project which can control any IR devices over internet. But after the Cadio platform was launched, my dream of making an Universal IR Blaster turned into reality and in this video, I'll be guiding you everything that you need to know to make your own Universal IR Blaster to control any IR devices that you have over internet. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by LTM and they came up with an amazing product called as LTM 365. So LTM 365 is an electronics product design platform that unites PCB design, MCAD, data management and teamwork. So with LTM 365, you can do the PCB designing task. You can share your projects over web for review purposes. It do cover sharing your PCB file to mechanical team so that they can create the mechanical product package based on your PCB. Then it also provides centralized cloud storage so you don't need to rely on one single computer for your files. It also helps you with managing your components and get real-time supply chain data for your components. It also allows multiple people to work on single project. And in the end, it also helps you with sending your design to final manufacturing units. So LTM 365 takes care of all other tasks so you put more time and effort in making something creative and useful. And the good part is you can try out its free version as well. I'll leave its free trial version link down in the description of this video so do check that out. And now let us start with this video. So for making this project, we took the ESP01 module as we wanted to make the IR blaster as small as possible. After that we took a couple of IR LEDs, transistors, resistors push button and an IR receiver and in the end we made the connections of all the components according to this connection diagram. Now to be sure that everything works as expected, we shouldered all the components first on a general purpose PCB before going for the PCB designing. So after shouldering all the components, now it's the time to flash the firmware on our ESP board. So currently while making this video, the Cario firmware for ESP8266 2MB version is not at all available but when I made this project for the very first time, it was available so I already downloaded that firmware file and I also downloaded the ESP flash download tools. Now after downloading both the files, I first made the connections of my ESP01 with my own made universal TTL programmer according to this connection diagram. Now after making the connection, I set the logic level to 5V. Well, I know it should be set to 3.3V logic, but I don't know why some of the ESP8266 chips get only programmed when the logic level is set to 5V and I really don't know the reason. So it is what it is. So after setting the logic voltage, we connected our programmer with our computer, opened up the flash download tool, selected ESP8266 here, and here we opened that firmware file which we downloaded and gave the address as 0. In the end, we selected the right COM port and first we erased the flash. So after the flash was successfully erased, we started uploading the new firmware file on the board. And after flashing the firmware, we attached the ESP01 module on the general purpose PCB, powered up the project and now we are ready to configure ESP01 with the Cadio mobile application. So here I connected the access point created by our ESP01 module. After that, inside the Cadio application, I went to the configurations and here it will open the configuration page. As you can see, it is showing one warning that the flash firmware size was 2 MB while the real chip flash size is just 1 MB. This means the flash memory is less than expected, but I thought I just want to use it as an IR blaster. So I think it will be enough uh, flash memory for this particular application. So let us move ahead and here what I will do is I'll select the indication mode as single and set the indicated LED as GPI1. Then I will select just an IR device with a transmitter at GPIO3 and a receiver at GPIO2. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Click on the tick mark icon and now we just need to provide the Wi-Fi credentials and we are good to go. So I'll provide the Wi-Fi credentials quickly. Give a unit name, I'll name it as IR demo. Click on done and we are done with the configuration as well. Now let's just provide the IR remote data to our ESP board. So here I'll click on this IR demo widget and click on add new controller. I'll set the controller type as air conditioner 2 and I'll be you know setting up my studio AC here. So I'll name it as studio. Click on the stick mark icon and here is our remote. So 
first of all you need to click on three dots and click on assign button to assign the data to all the buttons so first let's try to get the data of turning on the ac click on it and here i'll just uh, press the on button and it says uh, done it he am like uh, this device got the data similarly we'll do for the off as well and it got the data for on and off both so as this is a demo pcb and not the final one let's just stick with the two data and now let's just try to transmit this data and see whether our ac turns on and off with this device or not So here, as you can see, we are able to turn on the AC and also can turn it off using Cadio. And with this, we can be sure that everything was working completely fine. But wait, this was the moment where we f***ed up and we were not at all aware about it. <laughs> well, what was the issue that I'll let you know in the video itself, so just keep watching. So after confirming everything, we designed our own custom PC before this project. And here, we attached two options for powering up micro usb port and a type c port so that you can power it with any cable that you are having with you then we also added a dedicated reset button config button and an internet status led on board so after finalizing everything we placed it order and after receiving the pcb we first started shouldering all the smt components on the board after that we started shouldering the push buttons and also the ir leds along with the spacer to give them support and after shouldering everything our final project looks like this neat and very compact so here in this project we attach only five leds which was enough for 360 day coverage in a room but still we have space for two more leds which you can shoulder if you think your appliances are not getting proper signal so now to test it we inserted the esp01 model in it well this is the same esp01 which we previously configured using the cadio application and here we thought let's just configure all the buttons in the cadio application and then test it out but at this moment we came to know that ESP01 won't be able to save the data for all the buttons and also ESP01 was resetting quite frequently and it's just because the firmware flash on ESP01 was made for 2 MB version while our ESP has only 1 MB of flash memory. And we came to know about this after ordering the PCBs because we haven't tested all the buttons at the time of prototyping which resulted in a waste of lot of time and a lot of PCBs. And after thinking for a while, we came to a conclusion about using ESP8266 module which has more than 2 MB of flash memory. And here our task is to make it compatible with our IR Blaster PCB. And for that, we designed an extension PCB for the ESP8266 module. And on the back, we assigned the headers in the same arrangement as that of ESP01. And after receiving the PCB and shouldering the ESP8266 module and the headers on it, we were now ready to flash this ESP12 module. So here I made the connections of this ESP12 with our programmer according to this connection diagram. After that, I downloaded the latest version of Cadio firmware for ESP8266, flashed that firmware into the module, and after flashing, I inserted this module inside our IR Blaster project. After that, we started configuring it with the Cadio application, and the pin configuration here are exactly the same as we used before. Then we provided the Wi-Fi credentials and now we are ready to add our remote. Okay, so I'll click on the IR demo uh, widget, click on add new controller, select the controller type as air conditioner 2, give it a name as a studio as it is a studio AC, click on the check mark icon and here is our controller. I'll click on the assign button, uh, click on yes and now let's just assign the data for turning off. It says it's successfully assigned. Let's just do it for on button as well. Assigned successfully. And now I won't do that mistake. I'll try to assign uh, other buttons as well. So let's just try to assign the temperature for 27 degree. Okay, successfully assigned. Okay, so it is working completely fine. I have assigned the data for 26 degrees Celsius as well. And similarly, I'll add for the 25 as well. So I'll keep these much buttons for the demo purpose and all the buttons are successfully added. And now we need to test whether uh, this device is able to transmit the data and control the AC or not. Let us test it out.
Okay, so we are easily able to control the AC and also able to set its temperature using Cadio mobile applications. We tried to place this IR blaster at different different location and also tested it out and it was working completely fine at different different location in the same room until and unless something is directly blocking this IR blaster. And similarly, you can add multiple IR remotes in the application and you can control all those devices with our own made universal IR blaster. And now comes the best part of this video, which is we are selling this complete universal IR blaster project with pre-built Cadio firmware in it on our website at an amazing price whose link is down in the description of this video. And if you are the first five buyers, well, you will be getting the Cario lifetime license for Rs. 799 absolutely free. So go ahead, get your own universal IR blaster right now from the link mentioned in the description. So that was it about this video. Do drop a like to this video if you really love the project. Well, I personally love this project a lot because for very long, I was thinking of to make the universal IR blaster. And finally, I made the one which is truly an universal IR blaster and it's totally a DIY project. Also do share your thoughts about this project down in the comments of the video, like what is good in this project, what is bad in this project, any kind of suggestion that you have, you can feel free to share it in the comment section. And yeah, that being said, I am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next amazing IoT project video until then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.